What do you think of the encampment ban in Oakland? Uh, I think it's wrong. They're saying we can't be near stores and basically anything where we need to get, you know, supplies or whatever. Um, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Uh, I mean, under bridge, or in other words. It's the only place we can go. That's fine. Are you currently houseless right now, huh? Yes, I am. How long have you been houseless? Uh, it's been four years now. Oh, wow. So, you know, we build in home of umfulness, which is like our own houses as poor people out in East Oakland. Okay. We're telling these politicians, give us land so we can build our own. Right. Right? Thank you, sir. Thank Beautiful. you very much. All right. Hey, over. Thank you. All right. Exactly. So basically, we're voted out of the county. Huh? Uh, that part. Yeah. So, and we're not, well, so what they're saying is specifically that we can't be by schools or homes. Okay, well, I get that. But then they're saying we can't even be by certain stores and then we can't be by, this. basically, we can't be by anything. So how are we supposed to live? And they're not making the housing, housing, uh, you know, any, any more available than before. In fact, in fact, it's less available yeah, than before. That part. You yeah. know, even to get into housing, they prejudice against you if you're already homeless. Mm. You know, instead of helping you, they prejudice against you. Mm -hmm. So you know, real. if you're coming from another place, you can get in a place. But if you're coming from the streets, they don't want you. That part. How long have you been houseless, huh? Uh, or in your car? Since 1989, since I got here, but I've been even before that. So. Right. Um, it's a struggle in this capitalist system. Thank you so much, huh? All right. Uh, for a year and a half, 18 months. Okay. How do you feel about this encampment ban? What's your opinion? Um, I think it's ridiculous. And uh, I think that Oakland's been pretty good so far as far as allowing us to do what we do. But um, if we were in any other city, they wouldn't allow it. And it's probably going to get out of hand for them. But uh, it's, it's a shame because it's mostly garbage and stuff like that. It seems to be the problem, and not everybody's picking it up, you know, and taking care of their own. Right. But we try to take care of our own here. That's right. And uh, <clears throat> try to keep it clean, you know. Right. And if they tell us we can't be here, where are we supposed to go? You know? Exactly. There's nowhere for us to go. Well, I talked to Noel Gallo himself, and I took five trailer loads off the street. He was supposed to give me a dumpster two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. he said he was going to talk to his people at the county because he was here when they pick up. And I cleaned up that whole across the street. I took five trailer loads of flatbed trailers off the street of garbage. And I asked him for a dumpster. He didn't say, because I got shot in February and my health is fucked up. So right. I ain't been able to go back to work. Right. I was going to sell a street bike on legit from right. Craigslist because I buy and sell cars and I got shot in the back. Cops took all my cars and I was I, I was homeless. I ended up getting homeless. I, but luckily I had a trailer and a car. And a, and some things I could rely on. Right. And I, my health just got better, but like I've been trying to clean it up to try to, you know what I'm saying? Get well, Noel Gallo makes a lot of promises, I hear, and doesn't always follow through, that part. He was one of the people that voted on it. Well, I'll tell you, you know, uh, without mo a motorhome or a trailer, uh, we'd be living in the tan bar. You know what I mean? And uh, it's a big difference right. going from living in the planter box to uh, having a trailer and a, a lockable place to have a warm meal and clean up and right. they just stretch out and sleep. That's, that's you know? the trailer I just, because right. they wouldn't give me a dumpster. So I put them right on. And you did it for yourself. That's what's yeah, so up. I, I mean, I had to go get a trailer cheaply and then rip the whole top off into him and now I got a dumpster, but I still don't, I'd have to pay to go dump it. And now I got to go dump it. Well, thank you for taking care of your stuff. That's what we do all the time, though. That's the thing. If people say people are houses who are dirty, I'm like, no, nah, we're taking care of our stuff. Half the time, they throw our stuff on the street, you know? Would you like a plate, huh? And I'm going to be put a homeless people because Jesus is homeless. So, the new coming is now, it just happened to be Oakland, what people don't like. And they fixing up open. So forget my opponents for whatever purpose or reason we can come downtown to City Hall and represent the people. So some people is poor, some people are homeless and they stay with other people that make them homeless. All they need is a second chance. Teach them how to stay clean. That's it. That part. That's all. That part. Because they don't know how to do that. I understand. And do you have um, 
I mean, they're putting this encampment ban in and saying we can't even be on these streets. Like, do you have, do you feel like there could be another way? Yeah, uh, uh, Walmart, a big old empty parking lot. We can make a uh, truck stop and hire people and teach them how to live like the country people do instead of a double wide trailer mm. we have campers that part yes that part we build at homefulness in east oakland you know yes. like the four bedroom townhouse a hundred thousand dollars that's in tuition for one class mm. so, who can afford that yeah but if you want one class in the university and you want a career that's a hundred thousand dollars in some that part so they got to learn how to live together but it's a lot of people who is poor they're going to get that. So that would be good. And then we can still be working on Walmart. That's a beautiful idea. Thank you, man. All right. Um, you know, on the week that they voted last week on this horrible encampment ban, when you went out on Tuesday, which was, you know, the morning of the vote, they hadn't even voted yet. Um, tell, tell viewers and listeners what happened. Were there any encampments? It wasn't uh, that much people, and uh, was a lot of, you know, city cars, you know, the ones, the red ones. So they in um, patrol cars, you know, moving stuff. Police all, patrol yeah, cars. Yeah. So they were already doing sweeps yeah. of the encampments. Yeah. And so most of the ones on 44th Street. 44, 43. Um, and right off of, basically, up from International Boulevard, right? Yeah, yeah. And of course, that makes sense because they're saying basically we can't, as houseless folk, we can't be anywhere. Um, some of the folks that you've been serving food and supplies to for the last, for months, right? They've mm -hmm. been there for months. And are, a lot of them are elders and disabled, right? Yeah. Um, it's a, yeah, a couple of uh, older people and another, other people that say stable. And now it's no more. They had a little, little trailer in 44. And it was nice in there, you know, and, and, and uh, young people, and you know. And they're all gone. And uh, today it was gone. Yeah. And it's very clean. There's no, nothing in there. Like Only few people, yeah. All right, thank you. Our ancestors told the system that our land is not for sale. We, we must be able to live on our land. We cannot be restricted from parts of our land. Our walkabout is our walkabout, and it, we cannot change it. We still live on our land. And to restrict us to certain areas would dog make the whole system of, of intolerable living for the humans that were originally here. And we cannot take our land. It, to, 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 to tell us that we have to have policies and we have to have uh, certain times and limitations and, and, and policies that's going to direct us to, to not be able to freely move about and our walkabout is wrong. Mm. Sitting Bull said our land is not for sale. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. You heard it. Unsell Mama Earth like we doing here at Homefulness and stop this pimping and playing. Thank you, Broken Cloud. Thank you, Bob. Aquí es como los limpian, ya quitaron todo. Pueden ver que aquí está la el policía limpiando. So we can see la ciudad está ahí con la patrulla.